Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's a real joy and a pleasure, a blessing to be out here in nature once more and reaching out to you, bringing a message of restoration, a message of emancipation to you. And this message is not going to resonate with everyone. But if it resonates with you, then it is for you. Now, what I want to speak to you about is about the movie Black Panther and how, how, how and what impact it had in my country because in my country, I would say that it has created history because in the history of going to the movies in my country, Never before that they had to call in like the black squad or uh, a special unit of policemen to bring control and to bring order. And I just want to reminisce a little bit on what used to take place when going to the cinema was really fun when I was a little boy because there were only two cinemas in the country which were one was Russell and one was Robertson Cinema there used to be men who were like bouncers men who were very strong and men who could really rush and men who could really really push against a crowd and these men used to buy your ticket for you and they would charge you. So you, are, you used to have to pay extra money to these guys to get your ticket for you. And the person who used to be selling the ticket, the hole where you used to have to put your hand to pay the person who's selling the ticket in that little room, only two hands can go inside that particular hole. Okay? And there never used to be any fight or any quarrel among these, these guys. And they will rush and they will get your ticket for you. Okay? But with this movie, The Black Panther, and with the level of publicity that was given to it and the energy that is behind of it and the, the, the whole mind control and motive that is behind of it, it is so powerful that even those who doesn't even have a clue of what it is, it is really all about and what is the whole motive behind of it, they too get drawn in because of skin color, because of race. So here the race game has been played again on them. And here again, they are in a sinking hole. Here again is another episode of Get Out, the movie Get Out. And what it purchased in it. And many use the same movie and do many decoding and use up their energy foolishly and so there are many who have gone would have gone to look at this movie and the next day they didn't even have enough money to give their children to go to school yet those who are behind the old cinema cinematography system or the entertainment business with the motive to enslave the mind of those who do not want to look within themselves and who are looking outside of themselves for identification. Those are the same ones going to come in these parts, in the Caribbean, down in the tropics, and build hotels, and marinas, and turn around and employ these same people as bartenders and waiters and waitresses 
and landscapers and pool boy. And these are the same people who have to go on the toy ships to wash the pots and the pans and clean the toilet because they have never learned to look within themselves. They have never learned to look within themselves to find their true identity. They never understand their true spirituality. They never come to understand their true creativity. And all of us are guilty of that because as little children growing up in school, we were, we were taught to believe and to think like an employee. We, we were taught to believe in education over our own human imagination. We were never taught that it is our thoughts that is creating our reality. We were never taught that imagination is greater than knowledge. And so, because of the level, the very low level of energy, frequency and vibration among a people, even to go and look at that movie, there was confusion, there was balleration, that they have to call in the black squad. So in my country, you have, you have, you have the policemen, the regular policemen, and you, you have the SSU, which is these guys who normally just in army, army clothes, yet we do not even have an army, we do not even have a regiment. And then there are these guys who call black squad. These guys who are more rather, they, rather kind of chill happy. <laughs> guys who are willing and ready to, to, to beat you up for nothing. Okay? And of course they are all employed. They are all government employees. Okay? And many of them would have come from certain neighborhood where they never realized that poverty is of the mind and it all have to do with your thinking. And so those who come from those communities have been employed to also turn around and oppress those from the same communities with the same mentality. And they will say to you that they're just doing their work. But because we were taught to go after the getting instead of the being and never really coming to know who we are. Thus the reason why all these things is really happening. And I can remember quite vividly as a young man growing up, when I look at the World Cup soccer, I used to always want to rally around an African country to win the World Cup and so on because I was looking at the skin color. And even when, when I address melanated people, okay, I'm not addressing melanated people based on just the color of the skin. But I'm trying to get people to think a certain kind of way and bring a message that will help anyone. But I've been called and sent to melanated people to tell them that it's time for them to wake up and to understand that your thought is what is creating your reality and that you become what you think about most of the time and that the Bible is not secular history that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically and that when the Bible says without him there isn't anything made that was made and that all things was made by him, it is just a personification of your own human imagination. It's not a man 2,000 years ago with blue eyes and blonde hair. But it's a power in you, it's a creative power in you. And you can use that power consciously to create your reality. So because right now the country is in a place of religious darkness, political darkness and educational darkness, there must be one who have come to the ninth power. And when I speak, I'm not speaking from ego. I'm saying to you, a mystic has been raised up in this country to bring light to a people. An awakened one has been born for this time and this season. To speak to a people, to awake, and to come to know their true identity. 
and to understand the journey of life is from humanity to divinity and that they must change their belief system. So you do not have to look to a movie, you do not have to look to a Hollywood to vindicate your true identity to tell you who you are because all that you behold without, it is within. So when many speaking about history of Africa, many speaking about the history of Ethiopia, but I want to say to you, everything that you behold without, it is within. God of place, eternity are the world in the mind of man. It's written in Ecclesiastes, the book of Ecclesiastes. So everything is downloaded in you. Just as how you have things downloaded on a flash drive. And you cannot just look at the flash drive and know what is downloaded on the flash drive. But when you put it into the computer, then you can behold everything that is downloaded in it. Because everything came from the invisible world into the visible world. Everything is spiritual. So the whole world is in you. God is in you. God became invisible to be in you. You are God in flesh. Nevertheless, you shall die like men. That's Psalms 82. And when the Christ comes, are the man or woman who, whom in whom God awakes, and they come to the true self, and they tell you the true story, or the true biography of their life. And that's St. John 10. They turn around and say, he's mad. He's crazy. He has a devil. He's busy, Bob. He's, he's blaspheming. That's the reason why Psalm 4 tells you how to go to bed more consciously to create your reality. Consciously to find that the Creator is in you. In Psalm 4, 4 he said to come in with your own heart upon your bed and be still. In Matthew 6, 6 it says to close your eye and go to your secret place, the place of meditation, the place within. It's called a closet and speak to the Father that is within. Because God is your own human imagination, the creator in man. So, this message is to reach out to show that, that the height of ignorance among a people and how it has reached to such a stage that people was even getting angry and violent towards each other to look at a movie that was basically produced with a certain motive to Disney and we see how our people are still slave mentally and why the oppressor will always be the investor who would build these hotels and come back and employ them. So it's time for us to break out of this slave mentality and get out of stupidity. Now with that being said, I believe I get my message across to you. And I want to give you the sign, the sign of the eye, the one eye, Matthew 6, 23. Say, if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. Because speaking about the dawn of the new day, if the S-U-N arise in you, and Malachi 4 and 2 tells you that, that the Son of Righteousness will arise in you with healing in his wings. When that take place within you, you will behold the dawning of a new day, and you will understand without the S-U-N there is no life. And without your own human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And you would let the light so shine before men that they may behold your wisdom, all your good works, and glorify the God that they would have seen in you. Because God is within, not without. There's no man coming from the sky for you with nail print in his hand, with blonde hair and blue eyes. With that being said, I want to say peace, love you, I'm out, and do not fall. Do not fall for deception. Do not, do not fall for distraction. You want truth, you have to look within yourself to find the way, the truth, and the life. Peace, love you, I'm out.